Revelation chapter 11 verse 12 And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them Come up hither And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud And their enemies beheld them Revelation chapter 6 verse 13 And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth Even as a fig tree cast of her untimely figs When she is shaken up a mighty wind And the heaven departed as a scroll When it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise power, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 15. But the righteous live forevermore. Immortality. Their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand, shall he cover them and with his arms shall he protect them so you're going to be crowned by the lord himself you have a shot okay you have a shot himself he's going to crown you and he's the right hand of the father he's the father's right hand man he's covering us he's protecting us right now and ultimately him protecting you is him delivering you from that nuclear destruction so you don't have to taste of that second death all right and with his arm, which is Yahweh Shai, shall he protect them. You know, ultimately by beaming us up, taking us up, being received up into glory. And what can top that? What can top this salvation, man? Nothing. Nothing that this world can offer you can top this salvation, okay? So for those of our people that sold out to this system, they're falling far short. You know, they sold themselves short because what the Most High is going to give us elect is going to far surpass anything that the human mind can comprehend as far as glory and power. Beginning with that salvation and beginning with that crowning ceremony that the elect will be present in. You will be in that audience. You know, you will be in that congregation. First Peter chapter 5 Verse 4, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, who is the chief shepherd? Yahweh Shai. He's going to appear in those chariots. As a matter of fact, he's going to appear in that huge fathership, in that humongous cloud as compared to a great cloud or a great white throne, a great mountain. So when the chief shepherd shall appear, when Yahweh Shai shall come back, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. An incorruptible crown. You're going to always have it. And you're going to always have your position within the Lord's kingdom. Okay? This is what we hope for. This is what we hope for, man. Okay, so with that, Lord willing, you will edify it. We hope for that crown of life, man. And we got to fight for it. And some of us will be tested even unto death. We have to be faithful even unto death. Like it tells you in Revelation 2 and 10, be thou faithful unto death. Be thou faithful unto death if you're thrown in a concentration camp and you shall receive a crown of life. You know, same thing the Lord said through the apostle James in James 1 and 12, okay? James said it, but it was through the spirit of the Lord, okay? So we're fighting for that victory, man. Overcoming this world, all right? And a part of that is overcoming ourselves, overcoming his flesh, so we can get that immortal flesh, that immortal body, immortality, man, that eternal life. All praise to Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah, Bashan Makakudash, double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Peace and blessed to the elect. Shalom.